Hello and thank you for watching the KBTV YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to demonstrate the steps to delete SVMDR replication relationship. In this example, cluster 3 is our destination cluster and cluster 1 is our source cluster. This is the SVMDR we're going to remove in this session. For the first step, we're going to break the relationship using the destination path. Please make sure to use the colon at the end of the command. Once the relationship is broken, we can proceed with deleting the SVMDR using the destination path. The snap mirror relationship for the SVMDR has been deleted. Now, need to release the relationship from the source side. For this, we need to use the snap mirror release on the source side using the destination path. Now the relationship has been deleted and fully released. If a common snapshot needs to be kept on the source, use the release command with the relationship info only true value to keep a common snapshot. In this video, we're going to demonstrate how to delete a snap mural relationship on the volume level. For the first step, we need to quiet the relationship from the destination. In the first step, we're going to quiet the relationship from the destination cluster. In this case, cluster 3 will be the destination and cluster 1 will be the source cluster. In this example, we're going to demonstrate how to remove the snap mirror relationship for this volume and this destination path. For the first step, we're going to quiet the relationship using the destination path. Once the snap mirror quiet is completed, we can go to the next step. Snap mirror break using the destination path. Now that the relationship is broken, we can go to the next step of deleting it using the destination path. Now we can check the relationship has been deleted. Once we deleted the relationship from the destination, we need to go to the source side and do a snap mirror release. We need to use the same destination path. In case you want to keep the common snapshot, make sure not to release the relationship in this way. Make sure to add relationship info only true value. This will make sure to keep the common base. Using this value, a common snapshot will be preserved on the source. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video.